Guys, uh, today I like to show you how to heal sinusitis uh, by home remedy. Sinusitis is caused by bacteria, by virus either. Uh, so let's see how to heal it. Uh, number one, we can take uh, vinegar uh, with some water. A tablespoon of vinegar with a glass of water, we can do once or twice a day. Uh, uh, the mixture of that it helps uh, killing bacteria and it boosts the digestive system so the digestive system gonna be uh, gonna work better so by having better digestive system the rest of the systems in the body uh, gonna work better too uh, number two we can do by undergo the acupuncture acupuncture is very good for the balance uh, of the body, the balance of yin and yang and it's very good for healing the inflammation uh, to stop the pain or to be as painkiller uh, for instance uh, when we have uh, toothache uh, when we have back pain, when we have knee pain or the muscle pain, uh, the Chinese uh, they can go to see the doctors uh, to undergo uh, the acupuncture. Acupuncture is also the best for tonsillitis. Uh, it's going to lessen the pain over 50% over 60%. It works better than paracetamol. Uh, so we can use acupuncture uh, in, this, in this case too for sinusitis. And number three, we can take reishi mushroom. Reishi mushroom is a kind of Chinese medicine. A kind of Chinese mushroom uh, is very good uh, to heal the inflammation, to reduce the heat inside the body. Uh, so in the body, by having a lower temperature, uh, the inflammation is going to be less. Uh, so, uh, uh, reishi mushroom uh, is considered to be a kind of uh, yin. Uh, the Chinese they have yin and yang. Yin is for the cold and yang is for the hot. Uh, so, by taking the uh, reishi mushroom, uh, it helps. Uh, the way to take it, uh, we can do by taking two capsules of the reishi mushroom a day. We can do once a day. You can do either after breakfast, after lunch, or after dinner. And for the second week, uh, you can do twice a day. Two capsules in the morning and two capsules in the evening. Uh, after meal too. And from the third week on, and you can increase to uh, three capsules in the morning and three capsules in the evening. And after that, uh, after you are healed, uh, you can reduce to uh, two capsules a day. Or you can uh, quit it and you can take it uh, probably after uh, two months, three months, uh, you can take it for prevention too. After you are healed completely, uh, you can take reishi mushroom uh, probably uh, two months a year, three months a year. Uh, so it's also very good for the prevention uh, of the sinusitis uh, too. Apart from the reishi mushroom, uh, we can take uh, a Korean ginseng. Korean ginseng is very good for the uh, the circulation of the blood. Uh, for the Chinese medicine, uh, it considered to be yang. Yang is mean the hot or the heat. Uh, so when you are having inflammation from sinusitis, it's better not to take uh, a Korean ginseng. Uh, you have to take the reishi mushroom first. Uh, when you feel uh, inside the body no more inflammation, you can take the Chinese, uh, you can take the Korean ginseng. Uh, Korean ginseng you can do 
uh, you can take it uh, to capsule uh, in a month uh, the immune system uh, gonna be better uh, number four we can do by doing qigong uh, qigong is a kind of chinese exercise uh, to learn how to do qigong you can do from the clip i have uploaded before uh, it's a way to do qigong to heal the stiff uh, shoulder to heal the back pain to heal the coccyx pain also to heal the constipation in the same way uh, so we can use for different kind of problems and different kind of uh, diseases uh, apart from that uh, apart from four different ways uh, to heal the uh, sinusitis uh, uh, it's also about the way of life uh, for our daily uh, daily day life uh, we can uh, better not to go to the bed uh, too late better to go to the bed not after 10 pm or at most uh, not after 11 pm uh, it's a way to follow the biological clock and in the morning it's better to wake up early 5 am until 7 a.m. is a good time to wake up because uh, by the biological clock uh, from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Uh, is a time for the large intestine or the large intestine to work uh, it's a, it's a time to go to the toilet uh, to drink milk in some people uh, they can't digest the milk well so it's better to quit uh, uh, drinking milk uh, for a few months and after that uh, you can see the change uh, uh, to drink milk uh, is also cause uh, the energy in some people it gonna produce more flame uh, in the body so to have excessive flame uh, in the body it gonna cause the health uh, problem too and uh, to eat rice uh, especially people in the uh, Asian countries uh, it's better to eat brown rice and uh, not to eat uh, white rice uh, because uh, brown rice it got more fiber it's a good way to clean up uh, the digestive system uh, uh, to eat uh, vegetable better especially the green vegetable better to uh, cook it first uh, because a green vegetable sometimes uh, is not easy to digest uh, so you can steam it uh, you can boil it better not to fry it uh, because fried vegetable is gonna be more difficult to digest so better not to eat the fried vegetable and the last thing uh, I like to share to you is the way to do meditation. Meditation uh, is a good way to control the emotion. So emotion, especially the negative emotion like anger, fear, stress, uh, it may cause the health problem too. Uh, so uh, the way how to do meditation you can learn from the clips. I have uploaded before uh, is taught by the Thai master so these are holistic ways uh, to have the uh, good health to heal uh, the disease and to prevent uh, the disease uh, so you can try and thanks for watching